اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وقالو اتخذ اللہ ولدا سبحانا بل لہو ما فی السماوات والارض کل لہو قانتون بدیع السماوات والارض وَإِذَا قَدَا أَمْرًا فَإِنَّمَا يَكُولُوا لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ Dear friends, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I recited Surah Al-Baqarah ayat number 116 and 117. These ayat are especially relating to the faith of we have to make our belief as as much sound as possible because when uh, something is relating to the faith or belief so we have to uh, make our belief more strong and uh, not to talk too much about that one because when we discuss uh, about that things then automatically these things will make us to go away from the limits of islam like about allah when some ayat is about the allah and telling about the allah's uh, special blessings special qualities special uh, names of allah and then uh, we have to believe yes allah is allah is one and some ayat when about the tawhid of allah so oneness of allah we believe yes allah is one allah, we believe allah has no partner no nothing associated with allah allah is one and only one so when some ayat comes about allah about uh, our some belief or faith so we are to make our belief as much sound as possible so we are not to discuss about this mostly discussion will lead us to go away from the limits of islam and then shaitan comes in mind and different type of uh, ideas and questions will arise and when we are going into more detail and more detail then automatically so there will be chances of uh, uh, going or uh, crossing the limits of islam so these are no good so we believe in these ayats like we will learn now we believe that allah is one allah has no partner allah has no son no daughter and uh, uh, there is no one in the universe uh, equal to Allah and Allah is Allah Kulli Shan Qadir so and Allah is originator and made everything so when Allah wants to make something there is no need to plan like we plan before to make Allah uh, to make uh, uh, something like if we want to make some type of for example if we want to make a and a chair we need the material like like wood or, or the iron we have to uh, use that one to make a tab make a table or chair so but allah has no need of that so but we believe in this because we we don't know about allah much more whatever we understand we have to believe that allah is one Allah has no partner and we know the 99 names of Allah and the other qualities of Allah from Quran and Sunnah. We have to believe in that one. We are not to ask any question which will make us to cross the limits that is described in the knowledge about Allah or what, which we have blessed by the Holy Prophet ﷺ and Holy Quran. So we have to stay inside that one. So this is the best way to keep us under the limits of Islam, under the knowledge that we got from the Quran and Sunnah. So we are not to go beyond that. Otherwise, our faith or belief that will be in danger. So <coughs> these uh, ayat in first of all, so this way we are not to discuss too much about these ayat. We have to believe, make our belief more strong. So uh, first ayat that is 116. 
in this ayat allah tells us that uh, the people you know mostly who make partnership with allah or who associate uh, a person with allah they say allah has son or allah has children like the jews they also say the uzair alayhi salam and because those people they have seen so many miracles of uzair alayhi salam and after that the jews they they were to believe that this uh, uzair alayhi salam is the son of allah astaghfirullah and this way they associate him so this way we are not to believe we say allah is one allah has no any child no and no wife no child and uh, allah is one and only one and then in the we can see the christians they believe that they say jesus is the son of allah so we don't believe in that we say allah is one and only one allah has no wife no children nothing at all because we understand from kulhu billahu ahad allahu samad lam jalid wa lam julad wa lam yakulahu kufwan ahad so that is the best belief which we have so in this uh, then you can see the mushrikeen mushrikeen the people who associate different things with allah so the mushrikeen uh, the idol worshipper or uh, the fire worshipper or the some type of the tree worshipper and different type of other things they worship so those all to all those are mushrikeen mushrikeen they were to believe that the angels are the daughters of allah astaghfirullah nawazubillah so that is the other thing so we say that allah is one and only one there is no any partner with allah allah has no son no daughter no children so one and only one and that is the thing and when allah wants to make something allah say kun then the thing is done so that is the thing so uh, this way and any person uh, uh, who will uh, uh, associate anyone with allah and that person will also fall in ayat number 116 like we are uh, we read start this one allah said waqalu takhazallahu waladan waqalu and they say they mean christian jews mushrikeen and and other people who will say up to the day of judgment anyone who will say who will associate anyone with allah so that will fall in this ayat also because allah said waqalu takhazallahu waladan waqalu and they said attakhaza mean they allah has taken attakhazallahu allah has taken allah has made waladan a son so they say allah has a son so they said that allah has a son but subhanahu but they are lying because subhana allah is pure uh, glory to allah allah is pure from uh, what they associate with allah allah is pure from that one so allah is one allah has no any uh, child no any son so allah is one and only one and allah has no any children so that is our belief what allah is telling us here subhanahu allah is pure so there is no any uh, uh, association with allah what those people the christian jews and mushrikeen and the other people who will say uh, about allah they associate the son with allah or child with allah they are wrong allah is one and only one then allah said ballahu but for him for allah ma fi samawati wal ard ma fi samawati ma mean whatever fi samawati whatever is in the skies or on the skies wal ard and on the surface of the earth so everything belongs to allah so the skies and the earth and the uh, creation what is uh, to be find on the surface of the earth and on the skies everything belongs to allah so allah is owner of everything kullu lahu kul mean all all the things lahu mean to him to allah qanitun they are obedient to allah qanitun is humbly obedient humbly obedient means so much lenient to obey allah so like only the you can see the human beings and the demons like jinn so allah made them uh, like just and gave them chance they have to do 
all the things according to their own will. So because of accountability depends on that one. But uh, all other things, uh, excluding human beings and jinn, so those are under the control of Allah. They are busy rem in remembering Allah. So this way Allah said, uh, everything is humbly obedient to Allah. But you can see the human beings and the jinn because those are accountable. So this way they are just to... Uh, they are free to do anything so because they will be accountable at the day of judgment so this way the people like christian and jews and mushrikeen they say astaghfirullah they say allah has son but allah is not son allah is free from that type of uh, impurity or what type of they, those people they say allah is pure from that allah is uh, is free from all those types of association what those people they say so this way association is false uh, what the people they say Allah is pure and glory to Allah and uh, because Allah is the owner of everything whatever uh, is on the skies and on the earth so so everything which you can find on the surface of the earth and the skies and the heavens and everywhere so that is humbly obedient to Allah so here is one thing that we can see in Surah Al Imran 59 ayat you can see that Allah said that the example of Isa alayhi salam is like the example of Adam alayhi salam because Adam alayhi salam Allah made him from clay and mud and then Allah said kun fayakun past uh, the the soul came in and the Adam alayhi salam become alive so that was uh, the you know the birth of Adam alayhi salam with kun fayakun so so this is the point where we can believe that uh, like Adam alayhi salam, the birth of Isa alayhi salam is similar. So this way, these people, because Isa alayhi salam, he was born, born without, uh, without the dad. So that is the miracle of Allah. So that is the sign of Allah. That is to show the people that uh, how Allah can make the things. So Allah is Allah kulli shayn qadir. So Allah can do everything just saying kun fayakun the things are done so similarly but one thing is very important here like if you look at hadith which is in bukhari and muslim and revealed by abdullah bin abbas anhu, he said that in this this is hadith kudsi he said that allah said and the children of adam the, the children of adam they 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 disturb me they hurt me and just when they associate with me some someone so it is like abusing me so allah said this one so and and allah feels that one and allah said because i am free from all types of association i am one and only one but those people they associate with me it is like abusing to me so it is the biggest sin we we understand from other hadith that ashirk zulmun azim so shirk is the biggest sin which is not forgivable so allah will forgive all type of sins and evils but allah will not forgive the shirk and the association with Allah so that is the biggest sinful thing that thing will make a person to go into hell and there will be no none uh, who will save from the torment at the day of judgment to those people who associate with Allah because Allah is one Allah has no partner Allah has no children no wife so and uh, all, there was there is no one equal to Allah like we learn in Surah Ikhlas so in the next ayat we understand Badi Usamawati Badi is originator so the Badi is originator originator inventor innovator so Allah can do everything so Allah is because 
we don't know how this earth was created so that has been created by allah big bang theory is false we don't believe in it we believe in allah so that is the thing so badi usamawati wal ard so the originator the inventor the innovator so everything because this badi is the name of allah from the 99 names of allah so we believe in it that when allah wants to make something there is no any example before that so allah can do anything new which for which there is no any presence before so allah has no need to make a planning no need to make a uh, like any type of map or any type of some information before the uh, before the farming of something so allah is uh, to make when allah want to make something allah say kun fayakun the thing is done so badiyu samawati wal ard so allah is originator allah originated allah made uh, samawat means skies wal ard and the earth so allah made them so wa is a wa is a kada and when allah wants to make something allah say Amran, any matter which Allah wants, fa'innama, so no doubt Allah yakulu, Allah say, says lahu for that, kun, uh, be, fa'yakun, it becomes. So when Allah wants to make something, Allah say kun, the thing is done. So this way, like you can see the sky is, this is sky, it look like blue, but it's not blue, but is we, we can see this, but Allah knows uh, because we are not to approach up to the level no one in the world have sat still in a position to approach that one except the holy prophet muhammad so uh, because he went through the skies to see allah so that is in this month like rajabul murajab so uh, that is called mirajun nabi sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said when we are just to pray salah and our salah is called uh, salatu mirajul mu'minin so that is mirajul mu'minin for us but the mirajul nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam because he got the special dignity that he crossed the five uh, seven skies and to see allah so that is the blessing of Allah on him so uh, Allah is uh, when Allah wants to make something Allah say uh, kun the thing is done so I told the sky is there you can't see any uh, any pillar who is supporting the sky but sky is here we can see there is no any support but when we have to make a building we need the support like walls and pillars and we can do something but allah this is one uh, you know the uh, sign of allah that tells us that how allah makes things so this is the creation of allah is out of the mind of the people we can't think how allah can make the things because these are the only things which are knowledge that we get but we are not to say about allah not to assume that allah has so many capabilities so how can he do we don't say about that because we believe in allah we say allah is the owner of everything and whatever allah has given us the knowledge we know only that one we nothing know more than that so this way the invention innovations what we can see like we can see the inventions when in physics mostly inventions are done because physics is the knowledge of mass in relation to the energy so this way the mass and energy the matter and energy relationship makes the scientists to invent something new everywhere everyone every time so people they try to invent some new things with in physics so uh, but uh, even uh, in uh, innovations mean new ideas the theories and new ideas are produced so by the scientists by the peoples in even in everywhere also so this way the main thing here what we get the idea that the theories are the you know innovations like uh, like we can uh, if we look in our religion so in the religious point of view the and the iman is like a 
first of all it is an idea is a theory type thing but when we made it into practice we believe with our tongue and uh, we say from we confirm from our tongue uh, and we are just to uh, confirm uh, with our tongue and certify with our heart and then we have to practice of this belief to applying this belief on our uh, movement on the movement of our body parts then it becomes a practical practical belief and then we call it a iman so this is the iman and that is uh, the actually the idea then uh, when it comes into practice then it becomes iman alhamdulillah this is this is the uh, innovation like innovation mean the idea that comes because you know if you look back uh, the prophets all the prophets they came to guide the people and because the and the the belief the faith uh, that was the real faith about allah about the prophets about the last day so about the angels and uh, different other things when the real belief was uh, uh, becoming like uh, uh, mix up with some other things because of the people's desires are of nafs and also with shaitanic intervention so then the and then the prophets they came to clarify they came to clean up and they came to produce the the real uh, um, message or real thought or real uh, faith uh, that that came from Adam alayhi salam. So faith is still that one. Up to the day of judgment will be same. There is no change in the faith, but only the change is in the in the commands of Allah with respect to time. Because with respect to time, people with their own desires and with the in with the intervention of the shaitan so there are different type of evils and sinful things are produced and then allah send send down and different type of commands with the passage of time in order to rectify in order to make the situation better and peaceful and nice and that was through the guidance the books and sharia of the prophets so this way you can if you look the sharia of adam alayhi salam then you look at the sharia of Nuh alayhi salam, then look at the Sharia of Musa alayhi salam, then Isa alayhi salam, and the Sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. You will find everything that the guidance that we can find in different Sharia, the commands of Allah have been changed with respect to time. But the faith was completely same. So there is no change in the faith. So faith and belief that is the same and it will stay same up to the day of judgment because faith is the main thing in islam that is iman is the same thing so we have to keep it and then and the commands are changed so so that the sharia and that became implemented in order to make that the same faith applicable uh, into action to make us the more good Muslim and peaceful, nice people in the eyes of Allah and Prophet Sallallahu So that is the thing. So this way Allah said, Badi samawati wal ard. So Allah is originator, Allah is innovator, Allah is inventor of the skies and the, and the earth. Wa amran. Find when Allah wants to make something or when Allah wants any matter or any command. فَإِنَّمَا يَكُولُ Then Allah only say uh, لَهُ for that كُنْ فَيَكُونْ be so it becomes so what Allah wants that thing becomes so this is the thing so this is the message that we got we Alhamdulillah we must be thankful to Allah and request Allah to keep us on straight way to make our belief strong and uh, and when we die we die with Iman and also solid deeds, the good deeds, and we request Allah to make our company with the company of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to lead to Jannatul Firdos. Inshallah, Amin.